Hello, my name is Brad Haynes with Chave Professional, and this is Tech Talk. One of the topics that we actually get asked about a lot here at Chave is around exterior based fixtures or IP rated fixtures. Fixtures that are constructed for more harsh environments or elements than your standard uh, indoor type of fixture. Today I'm going to address that topic. I'm going to talk about what IP even means, as well as show you some different uses of those type of fixtures in this day and age, as well as show you some offerings from Chave and their vast repertoire of IP fixtures. So what even is IP? You've probably seen some of these numbers like IP54, IP20, IP65 when you're looking at lighting specifications or other electronic enclosures. Well, what IP actually stands for is ingress protection, which is the protection for those elements that I spoke about earlier. Where did it come from? Well, it comes from something called the IEC, which is the International Electrotechnical Commission, and it provides those IP ratings which are used to determine those various ratings um, provided for an electrical enclosure. So why do they do this? Well, the IEC itself is an international standards organization. So IP ratings have a global application for lighting luminaire enclosures. Thus, global acceptance of those IP rating luminaires ensures straightforward communication of enclosure ratings, facilitating specifications on a worldwide scale, to get a little nerdy. What that means is it's just sort of a level playing field. And so you know what these various ratings have to do with when it refers to the different elements. So, it's really quite simple. It really breaks down into two numbers. So you have your IP, which stands for ingress protection, which that is your marker, and then you have two numbers following that. The first digit has to do with the protection against solid objects, whereas the second number has to do with the protection against liquid objects. So let's take a look at those numbers. So obviously, as we spoke about, IP being ingress protection is then followed by the two numbers. The first digit being the protection against solid objects. In that realm, there are six different categories. Zero being no protection, down to the rating of six, which is complete protection against dust, so totally sealed. Whereas the second number, again, has to do against liquid objects, obviously zero being no protection against liquid, all the way down to a rating of eight, which means that that enclosure could actually be submersed in water. So let's give an example of something. So let's say a standard moving head um, from a different manufacturer, you look at the specification and it has a rating of IP20. Well, again, we can refer back to the list and know that the first number being the solids, two protects, uh, protects against a solid object greater than about 12.5 millimeters or a human finger. Then it's followed by the zero, which means that it has no protection against water. But for what we're talking about here today, we'll do sort of a standard uh, rating, which is IP65, which you'll see on most manufacturers' specifications when it comes to their offering of an exterior or IP rated fixture. And what that means is, again, the marker of the IP, which means ingress protection, a rating of six for the solid, which is completely dust free or sealed, and then a rating of five in water protection, which means that it can be basically sprayed from all angles um, and protected by water with a more high powered sort of jet, but not quite able to be submersed in water. So where do we use some of these higher IP rated based solutions or fixtures? Well, the first thing that would come to mind obviously are live concerts. Unfortunately, in the day and age of now, we don't have a lot of live events going on yet. But here's some examples that you may have seen in the last coming weeks of where IP-based fixtures have been used and are perfect, perfect type of solutions to be used here, such as driving concerts. Uh, having the ability to set up a completely IP-based solution outdoors, not only just the lighting elements, but also the LED video walls provides a perfect solution to be able to combat any inclement weather which may come in. At graduations, we've all seen graduations have changed a bit in their dynamics where it's mostly been outdoors um, and drive up. Again, an LE, IP LED wall based solution is perfect to be able to set out there and knowing that your electronics are going to be protected by any inclement weather that could come in. And what we could all use a little bit of right now is a little comedy. This is an example of a comedy show that was done where they were able to install some LED fixtures outside for some color and to illuminate the performer. And that just gave them the peace of mind knowing that they were going to be protected in a hard to reach type of setting with those fixtures and protecting those electronics. And something as uh, incredible of an endeavor as being able to give tribute to our healthcare heroes um, over the last couple months. 
Obviously, these are just a few of probably what you've seen out there. The, the one here being an IP-based fixture that actually does some gobo projection on the outside of a building, as well as being able to theme some of the various buildings with different color to really pay tribute to this incredible endeavor. But don't just think about exterior when you think about IP solutions. IP65 based solutions can actually be a perfect solution for an indoor application install as well. Think about a, a church or a school where you may have a very hard to reach type of uh, place where a fixture is installed for maintenance. An IP65 solution could be perfect because you're not gonna get as much dust or as much of, of the dirt uh, and gunk into that fixture. Not to mention a fixture that may be utilized next to pyro or maybe utilized next to um, oil-based haze machines or even snow machines. Having that IP rating really ensures that it's not going to suck up those different elements that's really going to cause more of a pain for maintenance later down the road. Also, I'd like to take a minute to highlight two amazing IP ranges from Chave Professional, that being the Maverick Storm series and the rugged Rogue Outcast series. Let's take a look at some of those incredible products as well as some very unique features to IP-based solutions. When it comes to robust feature-rich IP-based moving head solutions in the market, you need look no further than Chave Professional, especially in these two ranges, the Rogue Outcast and the Maverick Storm series. I'd like to highlight a few from each one. Starting with the Rogue Outcast series, this is the Rogue Outcast 1 beam. It is an incredibly bright 300 watt beam engine that has an 8,000 hour lamp. Not only does it have a plethora of different features, including a bevy of different gobos, but it has the ability to zoom down to a one degree pencil thin beam, uh, which makes it an ideal fixture for like putting on the stage deck or being able to uh, project a lot of atmospheric type of elements. It really is a compact design IP power. Powerhouse. Moving on from them, we have the Rogue Outcast 1 Hybrid. This is sort of the best of all worlds where you do get a spot, beam, and wash functionality all owner of 400 watt lamp, which is 6,000 hour life. It also has a bevy of different features, including gobos, a few prisms, and some internal effects uh, that make it a really well rounded fixture in the market. Moving on to the Storm Series, uh, Maverick Storm Series. Um, this is taking everything that you've come to love in Maverick and putting in an IP-based solution. We have two offerings in this range. The first being the Storm One Wash, which is an incredibly bright LED engine. It's made up of a 1920 watt RGBW engine. So you do really get a nice red, green, blue, and white set of LEDs that you can make a plethora of different colors across the spectrum. It also has the ability uh, to not only have an incredible zoom range, but it has a nice uh, face and internal effects where you can do some nice pixel mapping type effects as well. Not only built in that you can call it from the console, but you have the ability to actually patch the fixture LEDs separate from the fixture so you can get some more sophistication in pixel mapping capability straight out of the fixture as well. Last but certainly not least is the Maverick Storm One Spot. This is one of the most fully feature-rich fixtures in the market in terms of IP ratings uh, on the market today. Not only does it have an incredible color mixing system, it has a bevy of different gobos, it has a, a color wheel, it has an animation wheel, it has an incredible zoom, and it has a few frost filters all built in, all in a rugged housing that's meant to be a workhorse in the industry. One feature that is unique to Chave Professional and the Maverick Storm One Spot is our patented sun shield protection system. Essentially what this is, is a frost filter that can be put in and will activate itself with the loss of power that does protect the internal components from the sun's rays. This is an incredible feature that is unique to this fixture and is essential when utilizing fixtures such as the Maverick Storm One Spot in a daylight festival when the fixtures are sitting outside in the sunlight for a long period of time. It will protect sort of that lens and magnifying effect of all the internal components. Thank you so much for attending this week's Tech Talk. I hope you've learned a little bit about what IP is, where it can be used, and some of the fixtures out there that you can use it with. Hope you can join next week. Hope you stay safe. See you soon.